The raw material for paper and board is wood. However, the type of wood and the way it's turned into paper raw material determines to a large extent what the properties of the final paper or board will be. To start with the wood itself, we divide it into two main groups, softwood and hardwood. For the types of softwood used, you need to think of spruce, pine and fir wood. The average length of the fibres in the wood varies from 2 to 4 millimetres. The thickness of the fibres is between 0 0.02 and 0 0.04 of a millimetre. Types of hardwood we can list include eucalyptus, poplar, birch and beech. The average length of hardwood fibres is between 0.8 and 1.4 millimetres. The thickness is between 0 0.01 and 0 0.025 of a millimetre. If we examine a cross-section of a tree trunk from the outside to the inside, we see the bark and cambium. The bark protects the tree against drying out and influences from the outside. This layer is not suitable for making paper. The cambium is beneath the bark. It is the growing layer of the tree. The tree does not grow in the winter. That gives the so-called annual rings. A complex substance holds the fibres together, lignin. Besides a difference in fibre length and thickness, there are other differences between hardwood and softwood. Most softwoods have resin ducts that are filled with resin. The paper industry cannot use resin. Hardwood has so-called vascular cells. They take care of the movement of water for the tree. We'll take a look at the structure of the fibre. We can divide it into different layers. First of all, the middle layer. This layer contains the lignin just mentioned and gives the tree its sturdiness and flexibility. The next layer is the primary wall. This wall, only two-tenths of a micrometer thick, contains lignin as well as cellulose. The last layer is the secondary wall. This wall can be divided further into three sub-walls. The S1 wall. This wall consists of two cell walls with a combined thickness of 15 hundredths of a micrometer. They consist of a layer of fibrils positioned at different angles. The S2 wall, about 5 micrometers thick. This wall is made of fibrils following the direction of the fibers. The S3 wall is also known as the inner layer or tertiary wall. Its structure is similar to that of the S1 wall. What we have left is the hollow cavity of the fiber. We call this the lumen. It's for transporting water and nutrients. Besides the fiber's length and thickness, its wall thickness is also important. Here you can see the length, thickness and wall thickness of two softwood and hardwood varieties. 